What's going on guys? My name is Nikki. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down everything that you need to know about the upcoming Apple Watch Series 7. Since the last time that I made a video about the Apple Watch Series 7, there's been a bunch of new reports, rumors, and a lot of stuff that you need to know. So in this video, we're going to be checking out release date, rumors, price, features, everything. Let's get started. Legendary Jern John Prosser has leaked that the Apple Watch Series 7 will have a new design. Flat edges, fresh new look, bezels will be smaller. It's gonna look kind of like the iPad Pro like new design. Truly can't wait to see this design in person. We haven't had a redesign since Apple Watch Series 4, so it's been a bunch of years. And you know, I really like the design of the Apple Watch, but I'm just ready for a new change. And I think this new change, I think this new design is gonna look in. Right. Apple Watch Series 7 is expected to be announced at the September keynote. So it should be announced on September and probably released early October or even late September. Price, $399 for the base model, the aluminum model, and then every time you want a better quality, a better material, you're gonna have to go up in price. Now colors, I love to customize my Apple Watch and the Apple Watch Series 7 is expected to come in new color or colors. It is probably 99% confirmed that a green Apple Watch is coming. John Prosser actually got a leaked image of it, so he's still not sure, the community is still not sure if we're gonna get a bunch of colors like the iMac, we're gonna be getting, ah, uh, imagine if we get a freaking yellow iMac. I will, I will freak out. Uh, On the aluminum Apple Watch, we currently have a gold, a silver, a space gray, a red, and a midnight blue. And if Apple is expected to launch a green, that would be six colors for the aluminum models. Then for the stainless steel, we currently have gold, um, silver, and space gray. And then who knows if we're gonna get a premium material of this year. Uh, last year it was titanium, a couple years ago it was ceramic. So here's the question of the day for you. What do you think is going to be the new premium material model? Diamonds would be cool. Just imagine rocking a diamond Apple Watch. That would be flexing like crazy. You know another way that you can flex and save the world and save the environment and save the freaking animals? That's where today's sponsor comes in, which is the Vegan Loop. The Vegan Loop is a leather Apple Watch band that is 100% vegan, 100% animal cruelty free. It actually feels like leather, which is my favorite part about this band because there's a bunch of, you know, fake leather Apple Watch bands that don't actually feel like leather. My favorite thing about the Vegan Loop, apart of course that it saves animal, is that it freaking feels like leather as well. So if you guys are interested in the Vegan Loop, hit the link down below in the description and get promo code Nikis Molina and you'll get 20% off your next purchase. So you're welcome. You're saving animals, you're saving the world, and now I'm saving your money. Invite me over for dinner tonight. I mean, come on. I'll come right now. Thank you. Another thing that I'm very excited about is this. A smaller S7 chip. If it's smaller, there's going to be more room on the Apple Watch. And if there's more room, Apple could either do two things. One, incorporate new technologies, new features, which we're going to be talking about the features in just a second. But the second option is Apple could incorporate more battery, which is something that Apple Watch definitely needs. The Apple Watch definitely needs more battery life because the Apple Watch currently lasts like a day, a day and a half, which is great. But imagine if your Apple Watch could last you two days, three days, even four days. Now that would be something awesome. The heart of this Apple Watch is expected to be the S7 chip, which is expected to have better efficiency and of course, better battery life, which is always great. I'm down for always better battery life, right? Better life is always amazing. Come on, let's talk about the features now. No, no. What do you mean no? No, no. I want to talk about like the blood sugar tracking and all that stuff. Talk about the rugged version. Can I talk about that after the features? I have a script that Why I have to- Why do you wear yellow? It looks horrible on you. You are so ugly today. Thank talk you. Talk about and... it now. No. Oh my god. No. You forgot to okay, tell me to subscribe. Yes. I'm no, I, right. I didn't forget, talk but- Talk about it now. All right, subscribe Good. to the channel. I'm always She's right. Great, but... Talk about it okay, now. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Just be quiet. Okay. Okay, so- I'll, I'll just, let's just listen to her. The Apple Watch is also expected to launch with a new rugged version. Apple's currently working on a more rugged version of the Apple Watch, so there would be the Apple Watch, Apple Watch and stainless steel, and then there could potentially be a new rugged edition Apple Watch. So if you go hiking and you bang your Apple Watch a lot, if you go bowling or play tennis, or you just wear your Apple Watch in places that, you know, maybe you have a job that you just bang a lot your Apple Watch, and you're scared that the screen will get cracked, um, so that's expected to come. More battery life, more rugged display, a more rugged actual um, casing. It's gonna be good. It's not for me personally, but I can understand and I see a lot of potential on this for a lot of people. I mean, 
It's gonna be great. Okay, Siri, now I'm gonna talk about the stuff that I want, okay? Blood sugar tracking. This, uh, this has been rumored for a lot of years now on the Apple Watch Series 6, it was supposedly coming, but this year's, the rumors are truly pointing that this could potentially happen. Blood sugar tracking without actually having to pinch yourself and pinch your blood is truly a revolution. This would be potentially a revolution for so many people. It could potentially save a bunch of lives. It could potentially send you a notification before, like way before you could potentially get a sugar drop. My grandma has them all the time, which is, you know, always scary times for us. And I know so many people that have diabetes. So, you know, if, it, if Apple Watch actually pulls this off, I'm gonna put a candle to Tim Cook every single night. That's actually kinda creepy. That's not creepy, Siri. It's just I'm happy for my grandma. Your grandma is so ugly. Did you really just call my grandma ugly? Like, that's just disrespectful, Siri. She is uglier than you. I'm gonna slap you. Go ahead, I don't feel pain. Okay, I'm coming. Because I am a robot. I didn't feel anything. She just called my grandma ugly. I mean, how are you, how, how, how are you guys friends with her? Honestly. Oh my gosh.